want to pay close attention. Ignoring the thief um, may not be an act of responsibility. You don't have to be afraid of the thief, but you must be sober and you must be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, he moves to and fro seeking for whom he may devour. And he says, be sober, not be fearful, but be vigilant. He will kill anything he can find, steal anything he can find, destroy anything he can find. And I hope you know that Satan also depends on the word of God to know how to attack you. He needs to know what God is giving you. Otherwise, what will he steal? He has to depend on what God is giving you. <laughs> I sought for a man to stand in the gap that I would not destroy the land, but I found none. Can I tell you, I'm praying that God will raise prophetic intercessors over the city of Leicester. Men who will give him no rest until he establishes Leicester as a praise. Nothing happens within any territory until God finds men, men who are able to partner with his program, even in the place of prayer. One of the major ways we participate in kingdom activities is by lifting up incense of prayer. That the age-long spirits that have hijacked the minds, the thinking of men would come under subjection. I submit to you, and with all due respect to all of you who are medical professionals, I said it yesterday. You have to pray for the spirits that are killing the children with mental health. Don't think it's just a medical issue. It's a satanic issue. There is an intentional programming to literally delude a generation. And if you think it's all about, oh, my child, I think something is wrong with him. I am telling you this. I'm not stupid. You believe me. Yes. Satan is very generational. He can target an age range and leave the remaining. When he finds out a generation, as a generation have declared their loyalty to the God of heaven, he can give up on them and grow with their children. This is what has happened to many western regions. So you, find, you can find a region where the only people who are serious with God are people say from 60 or 70 years, they will tell you about the crusades of T.L. Osborne and then you find a generation that as a generation they have decided corporately to reject god may it not be under your watch yeah. i'm saying this because as we'll be praying shortly i'm trusting that god will raise prophetic intercessors yeah. women after the order of anna the prophetess who will stay in the temple and pray down god's program every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You Listen, overcome. let me tell you this. I didn't start ministry at the federal capital territory of Nigeria. For those of you know, who know Nigeria, I started ministry from a place where you don't last up to three years because of the strong Islamic powers that rest there. I watched people who loved God start ministry and they were shredded into pieces. Listen, there are spirits assigned to territories given assignments to fight the program of god if you don't believe this you you better believe this listen there are spirits assigned to believers there are spirits assigned to ministerial offices they are not assigned to men they are assigned to offices when you are elijah be ready for jezebel when you are samson be ready for delilah Samson is not just a man. It's a kind of grace. There are spirits that follow certain mantles to destroy. When believers are ignorant, you will allow the program of hell 
to just prevail you will complain but complaining does not stop it I remember many years ago I trekked from I don't know how I don't know your place here so I cannot even use any reference but a significant at least a one or two hour walk and I was praying and speaking over that Islamic land I command the territories lift up your heads O ye gates be ye lifted listen mother if you don't become an intercessor the devil will destroy your children he will turn a prophet to become an arm robber he will turn a daughter destined to be like Esther to be a prostitute I came tonight in this final session to stir up prophetic intercessors you must know how to hold the four horns of the altar and to pray to pray the program of God pastors buy equipment but raise men of prayer I'm a man of excellence but it is better to have one mic that works and have ten people who understand the dynamics of prayer not from a fanatical standpoint prayer that works prayer that is fervent prayer that is word based prayer that produces power inconvenience the familiar spirits around your territory drive them with the authority of the saints create a border within Leicester and say thus far have you come no further shall you go listen let me tell you if allowed they will fight your finances they will fight your health am i wasting your time no. sit down let me show you a scripture acts chapter 12 let me show you what satan does when people become complacent and they do not discern when they are not vigilant when they are not sober acts 12 from verse 1 who we'll end at 5. now about that time watch this herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church verse 2 he says he killed james what did he do he didn't advise james because he's a thief when he comes he kills does that look like him you would not see satan in that story but it was him you would see herod like you would not see satan in the days of daniel you would see a parliament but it was still him you will not see satan in peter but jesus said get thee behind me you would not see satan in judas but it was still him look his intelligence he knows how to masquerade himself he knows how to manipulate systems and men you must know how to detect him now we are seeing killing it is not about herod the bible says herod killed james now you know herod does not kill he was once a baby it is satan that kills he uses the hands of men the minds of men the systems created by men he killed james the brother of john with the sword verse 3 because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further everybody say proceeded further this is what satan does he touches your finances and you keep quiet he proceeds further every time you give flimsy excuses uh, I, I think it's just um somebody doesn't like me around my office i'm sure that's why he proceeds further his first attack is not his only intended attack he will test you and watch what happens you keep quiet test your child he proceeded further to take peter also verse 4 and when he had apprehended him he now put delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers the church got angry he said now james died peter is about to die i like verse five my goodness lest i learn this peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him prayer was made without ceasing by the church unto god for him you can pray for your child as a mother you can say my womb will not produce someone who will be a victim of mental health that was not my covenant with god don't be silent men in this city 
and in this meeting and following online you must pray don't leave prayer to your wives no create a system pray women pray children pray parents pray churches pray let me encourage you under god don't just smuggle out two minutes and just pray and say in jesus name amen i understand that your system does not give you the kind of liberty that other people may have in other regions and while appreciating that you must see the need for prayer and the value that is derived when you pray please write it as a commitment i will pray don't be distracted this is part of the meeting yeah.